Don't you sometimes wish you knew when something really important was about to happen? Notifications in Maximizer can help take care of that for you. Here's how you set them up. We begin by going to Administration and clicking on Notification Manager. Click on on this button here to get notifications from Maximizer. You can always turn this off later, but it is a good idea and a simple way to stay abreast of developments and changes. The next minute or so of this video is for system administrators and or single users. The very first time you come to your notification manager is click here to create a new service user. Maximizer gives you the user ID. All you have to do is generate a password, confirm that password, and then click Save. This brings you to the first screen where we actually start to do something. To begin with, make sure that you have each of these boxes tagged as active. That will allow you to create notifications in your address book, opportunities, and customer service modules. The rest of the video is for all of us regular users. The easiest notifications to set up are alarm and meeting invitations since no editing is involved. So let's click there and begin. Click this button here to on to check that your notifications are working properly. Later, you can turn it to off unless you want to continue seeing your own notifications as well as those from other users. And then display this notification as a toaster pop-up is a good way to have that. Keep the toaster displayed until I close it. And if you like, you can also click here to have a sound play when a notification arrives. By the way, a toaster pop-up is a small rectangular see-through box that can be set to show up on your desktop when it is triggered. We'll see one of those a little later on. With that done, let's either click back or click here on the Notification Manager to return to the main window for creating notifications. Let's select Opportunities. We then click on Add Notification. There are four things that we have to do. We have to name the notification, select a trigger, select the conditions that bring about that trigger, and then decide on an appearance, that is to say, how the final notification will look to us. You will also notice that we have two choices that we can make right here. Whenever something changes, and this is the kind of a notification we're going to create for an example, or even simply this one, when a new opportunity gets created. This is a simpler one that doesn't have any complex conditions associated with it. The one thing to remember is to check this box here, Notify even if I made the change. In other words, even if I created this notification, I want to get that notification when it is triggered. Let's name this one, An Opportunity Has Been Won by the East Coast Sales Team. Now we click the button over here to go to Conditions for this trigger. The field that we will instruct Maximizer to watch is Status. And the value that will be triggered on is that status contains 1. To bring in the East Coast Sales Team, we will click here to add another condition. This time the field that we will pick to watch is Sales Team. And again here we'll select Contains, and over here we will select the East Coast Sales Team. Remember to decide what you want to be notified about and then how that notification is going to work for you. Next we go to Notification Appearance. Since the result of this notification is a very positive thing, instead of selecting Concern, Informational or Caution, we'll select this one that says Success. And then in here we'll type in the message that we want to see when this toaster comes up for us. Now that we've done all of this, oh there's one more thing too. We want to display this notification as a toaster pop-up. I want to keep the toaster displayed until I close it. If I want to, I can play a sound when this notification arrives and my notification is on. Now I can go ahead and click Finish, which takes me back to the Notification Manager. From here, I can go over to any of the other modules and continue working. Let's select Opportunities and we'll notice that in here we have an opportunity that's designed to close on May the 9th and which includes the East Coast sales team, so why don't we go ahead and edit this and mark it as complete so we can see the toaster when it comes up. 
I'll scroll down till I come to the status and I'll change the status to 1 and then I'll click Save. That opportunity is now 1 and in a matter of minutes the toaster will appear for us in Maximizer and we can take a look at it. While we're waiting we're going to go back to the Notification Manager because you may have noticed under Opportunities that there are three other Opportunity Notifications that previously have been created. One of the things you can do is come over to the right here and click on Edit if you want to modify that notification or you can simply just click on the notification itself. We can go through Next to Conditions, we can reconsider the conditions, we can reconsider how this looks when we're done and when we're finished we can click Finish to take us back to the Notification Manager. There is one other thing you need to be aware of. We go to Administration and Administrator which takes us to the Administration module. I'm going to click on myself as a user. I'm going to go to Access Rights, Modify User Access Settings, and make sure that I have full access to everything in here that's related to the address book and opportunities and customer service so that I can generate notifications for those modules. After finishing in the Administrator module, I go back to my address book, and fairly shortly, the toaster has popped up here and tells me that an opportunity was won by the East Coast sales team. I can click into my notifications here to take a look at that opportunity, which takes me into the opportunity module and highlights the opportunity I've been working with. When I finish looking at it, I can click the X here to say, thank you, I don't need the toaster anymore. Don't be concerned if that toaster takes a few minutes to come up because in the background it's checking a lot of data to make sure that it gets the correct notification coming at the correct time as you have requested. Well there you go folks, another tool for Maximizer that can make you more productive and more effective in how you run your business. Bye for now.